Sisters, I'm here with another guitar tutorial for Lauren Daigle's song Trust in You. I already did a cover of this some time ago, I will link it in the description below. It's a very simple song in terms of how you play the guitar, so this will be for beginners. I checked the original track and there's something that they're doing with the lead guitar sounding kind of like this, not exactly, but kind of like this. Something like that which goes on throughout the background of the song, the main instrument is the keyboard. So I wanted to modify that a bit so that you can play it on the acoustic guitar without other instruments necessarily backing you up. It will sound like this. Can you see the similarity? Oh yeah, I forgot to say that this is not on standard tuning. This is, well the guitar is tuned to standard but I put a capo on the first fret because that's the key of G sharp. I'm just gonna play the song in G but with the capo. So this is how I'm holding G. This is G and I'm adding my ring finger on the second string. So that's the middle finger on the sixth string, third fret, taking the capo into consideration. The first finger on the fifth string, second fret, ring finger on the second string, third fret, and the little finger on the first string, third fret. And I'm using these three fingers for picking. For second and third, like this. One, three, two, one, three, two, one, three. One, three, two, one, three, two, one, three. The strings are six, one, two. Do it as slowly as you need to do it. Okay, let's do it slower. finger here for support so that I don't lose where my fingers are going otherwise they can pick other strings by mistake. Once you've got that down you can play all the chords using the same very, the very same pattern. Okay so that was the first chord. The next chord is E minor but because of our picking pattern when we hold E minor it's not going to be heard in the picking so you can just leave your left hand down and you play the same picking one three two one three two one three one three two one three two one three and then we have a minor this hand i'm gonna name one two three four because we don't use that i don't use my thumb it doesn't really reach first finger on the second string first fret second finger on the fourth string second fret and third finger on the third string second fret that's a minor and now, instead of having your thumb on the top string, your thumb will go down because this is the A string. So this is the bass, really. Your thumb is going to play the bass throughout. The picking pattern is the same, except that your thumb is now on the fifth string. Five, one, two. One, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, one, three, two, one, three. Now we go to C, just take your 3rd finger and lift it to the 5th string, 3rd fret, and that's C. I don't know what to do with this finger so I just leave it here, sometimes it adds strength to this finger. And it's in, like it's a nice place to sit. <laughs> same pattern, same strings. So the strings are for the first two chords, 6, 1, 2, 6, 1, 2, second two chords is 5, 1, 2. I hope you've got that all together. If you have, then play with me. Shall we do it slowly? Yeah, we'll do it slowly first because you have to change chords. So remember G, and then leave, and then A minor, and then C. Let's do it slowly, starting with the sixth string, first string, and second string twice. And then we have the fifth string, first string, second string twice. Three and two and one and go. 